At the beginning of the year, I shared a Devo about Exodus 16, when God provided manna for the Israelites in the wilderness. Manna was the bread that nourished the Israelites during their 40-year sojourn. The thing that we often miss about manna is that manna was not the bread itself. The actual translation for the word manna is, what is it? That's the translation. What is it? It was a seed to create the bread. The Israelites wake up one morning and there's a flaky seed on the ground. They look at it and they ask, what is it? That flaky seed was manna. It wasn't the miracle of bread itself, but it was the potential for a miracle. The seed was used to create the bread, the manna, but required the faithfulness of the Israelites to take the steps to see the fruition of the miracle. As I look back on this year, I recognize all the ways that God was providing seeds, that God was providing manna, little things that I didn't think too much of at the time, little things that seemed random, little things that I wondered to God, what is it? What are you doing? But in remaining faithful to him, I've been able to see the fruition of his kingdom at work. And I, I've been able to, to see his provision. I've been able to see him make a way when there was no way. And this is God's specialty. This is what God does. And the best part, God is the same yesterday as he is today, as he is tomorrow. So let's live faithfully. Let's live prayerfully attentive to the seeds, to the potential, to the work that God is laying before us.